At the beginning of pick insertion, the conveyor chain moves the projectile into the projectile lifter. The projectile is opened and secured in the projectile lifter by the projectile opener. Next, the projectile lifter moves into the upper position and the projectile opener moves out of the projectile gripper. This closes the projectile, securing weft in the projectile for insertion. Now the feeder gripper is opened by the feeder opener. To start weft insertion, the weft brake opens and the projectile is accelerated by the picking lever. The weft is inserted into the open shed and across the entire width of the reed. During insertion, the weft tensioner moves to its lower position to reduce weft tension. When the projectile arrives at the receiving side of the machine, it is stopped by the projectile brake. The projectile returner moves the projectile into proper position to be moved to the sliding path. As the returner moves, the weft tensioner moves back up to maintain proper weft tension. Now the selvage grippers move to hold the weft on both sides. The projectile gripper is opened by the projectile opener to release weft just inserted. On the picking side of the machine, the feeder moves to the front position and closes to hold weft for the next insertion cycle. As soon as the feeder gripper closes, the scissor cuts the weft. The feeder now moves to the rear position, ready for the next weft insertion. With the weft inserted and cut, the projectile brake raises up to allow the projectile to be moved into the sliding path. The expeller positions a projectile from the sliding path onto the conveyor chain to be returned to the picking unit. 